Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Sorry, I'll wait for you. Um, it's been a difficult few days with, with what's happened to Sir Alex. I just wonder whether you'd, you'd been in touch or been able to see him? Or? He's private. His family asked for privacy, and that's what I'm going to, I'm going to respect. How much of a cloud does it put over the whole club? Because clearly it's, it's a shock to everybody. We are positive. We are very positive. And you're, you're happy that he's going to make a swift recovery and everything will be OK? Yeah. We are confident. So it won't affect the mood going into the game at all? What? It doesn't affect the mood of yourself or the players, this kind of reflective idea of <coughs> going no. into a football match. It's entirely separate. No. I can only think uh, that if there is any relation, it's a positive relation. Jose, if I may ask you about the football match then, just with regards to the players that you'll have available and maybe the job that David Moyes has done in turning them around from relegation candidates to where they are in safety now. No, every manager that managed to do that. Um, some, like, uh, just to give a couple of examples, like Benitez, like um, Chris Hutton, they start and they end the season with the club and they manage to keep them safety, safely in, in, in the Premier League is a great job. Some other examples of people that got them in the middle of the season and managed to to get the points to save them, like David, uh, like Roy Hudson and, and some many others. Uh, yesterday, I think, if I'm not wrong, uh, Southampton also, also guarantee the Premiership, so all of them that succeeded in that is a great job. But uh, you know, there are others that unfortunately are going to be relegated that they, they made great jobs. Um, if Carlos with Swansea or David Wagner with uh, Huddersfield, if one of them is relegated, I, I keep saying a hell of a job because they both uh, did very well and one of them is going to, to be relegated. So it's hard to say, but in the specific case of, uh, of David Moyes, the objective was to keep the team in the Premier League and he did it with two matches in hand which is very good. Jose, over the next two games, will Michael Carrick play one of the last two matches? He will start the last match. Old Trafford, last match of the Premier League. Our captain in front of our, of our fans. He will start the match against, against Watford. Could you, could you explain, as somebody who's worked with him initially as a player, and now, as he starts his coaching career, can you explain the qualities that you found in him? The most important quality is to be a man. M-A-N, capitals. He's a proper man. And uh, football is not full of them. And not just football. Society is not full of them. So when, when you f when you find one of them, you have to value and you have to uh, to keep. And in this case, it's not about me. It's about the club. The club had on him a great man for many many years playing football, and now when his body says is enough. The club and myself, we want to keep, we want to keep the man. Of course, he has, he has qualities that we believe can make him a good coach. And uh, there are many ways to do the bridge between player and coaching staff. There are many ways to do it. 
Some guys they prefer uh, to have a couple of years to to study. Some guys they prefer to go to youth football before uh, they come to first team. In in this case, we decided that the bridge could be that bridge. It's just to change to change shirts, to change uh, dressing rooms and offices, and uh, and to stop to be a player, to become to be an uh, an assistant. And I think the way I work with. Uh, with my assistants, I give them very good conditions for their uh, for their evolution, and I think Michael can be very positive for us. Jose, can I just ask you about the the rest of the, the squad in terms of fitness wise, Lukaku, Sanchez, and also mentally after last weekend, Martial, Rashford. How's everyone going into this game? Uh, they they all work well. <laughs> uh, even in weeks that hand in bad performances or bad results, I never have anything negative to say about the professionalism of, of my players during the season. They are uh, good professionals, they work well, they train well, and this week was not, was not different. In terms of injuries, um, is Lukaku and... Uh, Fellaini, the two players that are not available for tomorrow. And a part of that, uh, Jones is back, um, Sanchez is back, and no more problems. Um, could Lukaku play in the last game of the Premier League season? Or no. What about FA Cup final? Is that still looking possible? That's what we try. And Fellaini, what's his problem? Is a muscular problem. Uh, again, we try to see if it's possible for the last match.